So that's a fairly devastating critique by a psychiatrist of what some psychiatrists are trying to do. John Diamond goes even further than this. John Diamond was a psychiatrist. This is what he says. No longer a psychiatrist. I renounce it because I believe cruelty is at the core of the profession. Now, some of you might say I'm into that. Some of you might be able to say, yes, I can dot, and dot that I and cross that T. And it goes on to bring out the, the, the worst, uh, the cruelty lurking within people. So why is this profession, which ought to be so compassionate, turned its back on humanity? I think that's a devastating comment, really. And that's in Mental Health Movement, The Persecution of Patients, which is also on the internet, and which there was a document prepared for the Council of Mar in a debate I'll talk about later on. Definitions and names are critical and, and crucial. So it is important whether we call this thing ME or CFS or PBA, PBA, uh, FS. It's very important that we, we know what the words mean and we use them as carefully as we can. Progressively, until 1994, ME has come to be defined as a chronic fatigue syndrome, which is about exclusion and crucially depends on fatigue of more than six months. Who would say that their worst problem was fatigue? <laughs> and this is what they're saying. You've got to be tired. Not knackered, not completely wiped out, but you've got to be tired. All physical symptoms and biochemical markers have been gradually removed from the definitions that are in use now. And everything directed towards a psychiatric explanation. Many different illnesses and conditions are associated with significant fatigue. Cancer, asthma, COPD, uh, having a dose of the flu. We all know that. Um, so what you, what you catch in this kind of, under this kind of definition is anybody. It's just a rag bag. It's, it's almost impossible to know what's going on. But WA, the WHO classification which still holds is WHO under ICD 10 G93.3 is myalgic and cephalomyelitis is a neurological disorder. And the allowed alternative names in this chapter are post-viral fatigue syndrome and chronic fatigue syndrome. And it, it appalls me that conferences have been arranged on fatigue now, uh, addressing these sort of issues. And it's just a deception. That's why some of us wrote what is ME, or the CFS. You can get copies of that download. Of, we, we've sold a thousand copies of this, but we've run out now. We've printed, we've had three printings. Uh, this is available on that website, so you can download it for yourself. It means you're going to have to pay the expense of the printing and the paper, but you can do it that way. And I inserted it. It, it won't be in the. Uh, it's certainly not on the uh, website uh, volume that's, that I've mentioned. But the Canadian definition uh, is. I inserted that in the ones that we were finally selling after the Canadian definition came out. This is me trying to respond to the needs of people in Northern Ireland uh, who asked me to write something about what I've been talking to them about. So this is me trying to understand what is ME. And I've called it engaging with it because I don't think I'm doing any more than that. And it's, it's important that you, you understand that. Um, and some people will make great, great pride of the fact I'm not a medic, which is quite true. Um, but it doesn't stop me engaging with these things as a medical scientist. And this is my attempt to do it. We've, we've still got some of these left from a second printing at four pounds a throw. Uh, it was reprinted in, in 2004. And I've got a few copies here so if people want to buy them. If you want to get them from me, you've got to pay the, pa the postage and package, which adds another one pound 14, I'm afraid. So <coughs> they're going cheap today. This is another book we ought to read. I saw it on the side there from Martin um, Walker. Now, Martin um, has subtitled his, this book, Psychiatric Hegemony and the Manufacture of Mental Illness. Remember what Darwin was saying? People are manufacturing mental illness out of the symptoms that you are showing. And he covers MC, uh, ME, MCS, and fibromyalgia, and a whole range of these rather difficult di chronic diseases which are causing serious problems and which, to which modern medicine has no uh, real answer. And it's a simple one step from neurology to mental disorders because mental disorders 
mental and behavioural disorders are classified under ICD-10 as F.48. Right? So fatigue is under ICD F48 under mental and behavioural disorders. ME is under neurological disorders. So if you change the language and you move to fatigue rather than chronic fatigue syndrome rather than ME, which is a much better word and much more clear, then you're moving people into the direction of a psychiatric illness. And some of you may be familiar with the somatization leading to some parents being accused of Munchausen by proxy and all the dreadful business that goes on with that. And Martin Walker has given some very clear examples of that, which are just barbaric. There's no other word for it. This is mental health. You can't read this, uh, but you don't need to because I put it there. Mental health movement, persecution of patients. This was a briefing paper for the Countess of Mar in the House of Lords debate about what do we mean by ME. What does the government mean by ME? Does the government sign up to the World Health Organization uh, definition? And if you want the documents, they're on the internet, and so is the debate. Again, you can access that fairly easily through uh, uh, different websites. In the debate, it was claimed that, and this is still claimed, that it's acceptable for MECFS to be placed in two different classifications by the World Health Organization. No one asked the World Health Organization about this. When they were asked, they said, no, you can't do that. <laughs> so somebody was, uh, someone was trying to cheat. Essentially. Yeah, well, you, I think you're right. <coughs> Far be from me, I would, couldn't possibly comment. Uh, the WHO stated categorically, th th we've got the written correspondence. This cannot be done. And this was sent to Lord Warner, the health minister, um, who accordingly uh, wrote to the Countess of Mar, and uh, we've got a copy of the letter as well, and uh, I know the Countess really quite well as a result of all this, the UK accepts ICD-10, and therefore, after it was pointed out that the relatively new term, chronic fatigue syndrome, weasel words, how do I get out of this corner being boxed into by the Campus of Mar? And you say, well, it's a new term, and we, we better just correct it. But it's going to be corrected, although it's already gone out. Uh, these, these ideas are already gone out in the guidelines uh, that go out to GPs on mental illness. So you are perfectly accurate, both in medicine and in science, by saying to your GP, I have ME, which is a neurological disorder, will you please assess me in those terms? And uh, if he says it isn't a neurological disorder, he says, well, it is. And it's classified in the World Health Organization, it's ICD-10 uh, list, as such. And the second edition that goes out... Uh, We'll, we'll also have this change with it. But that's appalling. That this, should, this deception should have been practiced so skillfully and so comprehensively. So what are we dealing with? You can tell me. Chronic illness is often severely de debilitating. Uh, this is Simon Lawrence, who's one of my heroes. If there's a hero and guys want medals pinned on the chest, Simon Lawrence is one of these guys. Because he's a terrific fella. And he's ill. Really ill. It's a 25% group man. Official obf obfuscation denials, you can read as well as I can, can't you? That's the terminology we should be using to be accurate, and this is what we should stick to, and this is what the medics should be sticking to when they meet people. The deception was to try and reclassify it under fatigue syndromes. And the trap has now been strung, sprung by the establishment with new centres for the treatment of ME.